Hello and welcome to Vanguard Life Sports. My name is Damlola Ogushaki. And of course, here on Vanguard Life Sports, uh, we update you on things going on in sports. Uh, so today we'll be looking at um, a Premier League and EFL uh, summer transfer to be open from July 27 to uh, October 5th. And also, I'll be looking at Liverpool to lift a Premier League trophy um, on the cup after uh, Chelsea. And uh, we can't be down, says uh, Bournemouth and um, Arsenal beats Liverpool 2-1. Uh, FIFA okays uh, four games a day uh, for uh, for Qatar 2020 World Cup and um, uh, Ole Gunnar Sosha uh, plans to unleash a full force on Chelsea and also uh, Obafemi Matis replaces Ihalo at uh, Shinsai, uh, Shanghai Sensua. Now um, moving on to what we're talking about now, talking about the uh, Premier League and um, EFL summer transfer. Of course, um, the Premier League and the English uh, Football uh, League summer transfer windows will be open for 10 weeks uh, between uh, 27th of July and uh, 5th of October, uh, subject to FIFA approval. Um, in addition, the Premier League and the EFL says that there will be a domestic-only window between the 5th to 16th October, and during this uh, window, window clubs will only be uh, able to trade with uh, EFL clubs either um, either um, loan or permanent uh, registration uh, so no transfer can take place between premier league clubs in this period uh, in this period efl also says that um, any new signing uh, by its club could not play until the start of uh, 2020 to uh, 2021 season now let's talk about uh, of course uh, the champions the reigning champions that's uh, liverpool so uh the club, the club says that the team secured, of course, they secured their first um, league title in 30 years in June, but fans will not be at Anfield to watch the ceremony because of COVID-19. But we know that, of course, COVID-19 did not actually stop uh, many of them from celebrating when they actually won these, uh, uh, when they won the, the match, and they were, of course, said that when they won the, when they sealed the Premier League um, a trophy that they will be carrying it and now uh, they're also telling them that they should please stay indoor and stay safe protect yourself so uh, the club legend uh, sir uh, kenny daglish will hand out uh, medals before the club captain that's a uh, jordan anderson who leaves uh, the trophy Anderson also lifted uh, the champions league trophy last season and will be the first uh, liverpool captain to lift the trophy awarded uh, to the English champion season and Sell in 1990 and despite the season being over because of uh, knee injury Anderson and his teammates will receive the trophy on the podium surrounded by banners made by fans and built in the middle of the famous uh, uh, cup stand uh, the club has urged fans to stay at home and enjoy the ceremony in light of these um, ongoing uh, measures put in place because of these uh, coronavirus in order to say uh, to of course to protect people and i think it's better for us to listen of course we know that um, of course we know that yes uh, that you can't contain that excitement of seeing your team of course seeing them um, say holding their trophies or just like you holding your trophy that's how it is for football fans but i think it's still best for us to just stay inside celebrate you know watch them while they're giving them the trophy of course they will also celebrate uh, but of course while celebrating still keep in mind and protect yourself and uh, moving away from that of course, um, Bournemouth says that they can't uh, beat, uh, they can't be down after uh, Man City won 2 1. So the captain, um, Steve Cook, still believes that the club can avoid relegation uh, from the Premier League season despite defeat by uh, Manchester City last night. Uh, the Cherries are three points of uh, safety with six points still to play, but uh, have, but have played the game more than uh, West and Watford who face each other on Friday. Uh, Bournemouth is currently 18 on the Premier League table with 30 points. Seriously, people are really wondering if Bournemouth can uh, really avoid relegation because they just have uh, 30 points. And of course, um, of course, Aston Villa with um, with uh, the points behind them at number 19 also have a match today. Of course, if they win that match, they will be able to pass. Uh, of course, go over Bournemouth and move to number 18. So this really, really, people are looking for how it to play out if they will be able to avoid relegation because uh, they can still avoid it. And we, will, we hope they will be able to do so. Now talking about uh, Liverpool and Arsenal, 
you know, this was the match that um, a lot of people people were not expecting it yesterday. Uh, I'm sure those who did uh, the betting who betted on this match, some of them might be disappointed because um, you know nobody really expected Arsenal would beat Liverpool. But you know when you're talking about sports, anything can happen when it comes to sports. So they beat uh, the champions 2-1 at the Emirates um, yesterday and ended their hopes of record point tally for the Premier League season. The loss ended their hopes of a record point tally for the Premier League season. It means Liverpool on 93 points can only stretch that tally to 99, one shot or one uh, point short of Man City's record. Arsenal's first win against Liverpool since April 2015 leave them one place to ninth in the table on 53 points. Uh, a lot of uh, Liverpool fans were really, really disappointed. You know, we have, uh, although uh, Klopp was saying that they were just playing because they want to be champions, and anytime they are going to play, they don't uh, look down on any team. They prepare like they are just going to be, you know, they, when playing with the big teams, you prepare you play like you are playing for the big teams. And when playing for the small teams, you prepare, of course, you play like you are like playing with the big teams, so they don't underestimate any team. But what happened yesterday now, uh, we people really can't say, although a club says that um, he believes that they def uh, they deserve the defeats that they of course they played and they handled it well looking at it that they were mostly in the possession of the ball but um, of course the other team also played very well so they were not really anticipating it and um, of course he says that uh, it's their fault and not anyone's fault that they lost the game that it's their fault not anybody's fault of course that's who are we to blame if they lose their game but uh, looking at this and uh, even a, a man you fan says that the performance was uh liverpool fan says that the performance was very very embarrassing i mean if you were on twitter yesterday night you would have seen a lot of liverpool uh, fans expressing their anger saying that they were angry and arsenal fans really happy excited just like Mikel Ateta, uh, who says uh, th that they are very very happy and excited that his team the thoughts uh, with spirits uh, as they saw in the uh, in the field and they are they will still keep fighting and that's actually a very good thing uh, coming from Mikel Ateta, seeing that um, a lot of Arsenal fans have lost hope, but seeing that they are still fighting is still something good. Uh, but Liverpool fans, I don't know if I should tell you, of course you see people saying that they're really, really sorry. But of course when it comes to football, you see them just going banter, the banter never ends. And that's it for Arsenal and Liverpool. Now, um, of course, now going over to FIFA. So FIFA OK is uh, four games a day for Qatar 2020. World Cup. So the four matches will be played each day during the group stage of the 2020 World Cup in Qatar. FIFA has announced the group games will be played over a 12-day period with uh, matches not being assigned to particular venues until after the finals draw in uh, March 2022. And kick-off time for the first two rounds of games will be 1 p.m., 4 p.m., 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. local time. Uh, with the eight stadiums all within the four uh, mile radius of um, each uh, of each other it means that the supporters and media could attend two games on the same day and the tournament's opening match will be played at uh, of course the 6000 Al um, sita albert stadium um, just 21st of november in a game which will host the uh, federal host of the qatar and the final venue is the 80,000 of capacity lucille stadium and of course the start date is yet to be announced for the european um, section of the world cup qualification but uh, the qualifying draw is scheduled for first of december but it's it is not yet known whether that we of course go ahead as planned now moving over to fa cup you know talking about the league and such you know we've heard that them saying that they are not really they are just uh, they are really planning on we need two matches uh, to uh, taking two trophies today and this um, yeah and that's uh, this season and that's the FA Cup and also uh, the Champions League where they are still currently fifth although you see uh, the banter where people are saying that uh, you know I saw something yesterday with someone like uh, which club would you not uh, actually vote for and some of them were like the, the team the club that keeps uh, you know keeps staying at number fifth without moving forward. But of course, uh, looking at uh, the spirit of the of the players, the fans, and uh, believing that they will be able to qualify for the uh, champion for the Premier uh, for Champions League. Now, talking about uh, FA Cup, so the Manchester United manager, that's Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, uh, says he will not rest um, he will not rest key players for Sunday's FA Cup semi final against Chelsea, which is focused solely uh, solely on the upcoming Premier League clash against um, Crystal Palace, which is today. United are fifth in the standings with fifty nine points and are behind uh, Leicester City on goal difference and travel to Palace on Thursday are looking to stay in the hunt for, of course, Champions League qualification. 
because and there were a couple of doubts before the Southampton game, but they reported uh, fits on the day, and hopefully we can give them time now not to leave players out because of injury. But there must be one or two fresh uh, legs coming in. Anthony Matea is um, in the midst of a purple patch, scoring five goals in seven games in all um, competitions since the season's restart. And Sosha was uh, delighted with the fans forward uh, development. And um, you know, talking about this, their match today now, it's really very, very important for the both of them because also Leicester City will be playing today. Leicester City is also 59 points. Uh, on the number, of course, number four, the fourth on the table, with 59 points, while uh, Manchester United on the table with uh, 54 points. So this is uh, something they are really, really uh, a lot of um, a lot of fans are really looking forward to. So let's look at uh, today's fixtures, and uh, of course, um, okay, before that, talking about uh, Obafemi Martins as he replaces Ihalo at uh, Shanghai Sensua. So the Chinese uh, Super League club Shanghai Sensua. Um, have finally confirmed that uh, the signing have finally confirmed the signing of experienced Nigerian striker Obafemi Martins. Uh, the striker's ego, uh, the super ego star, was presented to the media and fans at the ceremony yesterday, which has ended the uh, speculations about uh, the future after about his future after training with the club for several weeks. Uh, Shanghai Sensua brought in uh, Martins as a replacement for Odion Ihalo, who has been farmed out on loan to Manchester. United until January 2021. The former Newcastle United, um, Inter Milan, and Wolfsburg star, the uh, Wolfsburg star is uh, re non returning to Shanghai Sensua for a uh, for a second spell, having first won their colours from 2016 uh, to 2018. Uh, Martin's performances were pretty good in his uh, first teams with Shanghai Sensua, scoring uh, 13, 32 goals in 59 appearances. While providing um, nine assists, so of course we'll be looking at some um, over Femi Martin's uh, um, replacement. How his performance to be at the Shanghai Sensua. Of course, we know that uh, Hialo currently in his team, where he's uh, of course currently alone in Man United, is actually doing great. Though we, uh, since he has been resigned to Man United, um, his loan has been extended. We've not seen him scoring any match, uh, any uh, any goals for for uh, for Man United in the Premier League. But of course, we believe that he will still do something. And you know, a lot of um, his fans are really saying that Man United should really make use of him more instead of just leaving him there and you know, not seeing, just give him a very short uh, time. Now, looking at today's fixtures, of course, um, for today, Everton will be playing Aston Villa. And Everton is uh, number 11 on the uh, Premier League table with 45 points. And of course, they are tied with, uh, they are tied with Southampton also, will be playing with Brighton today. And Aston Villa, who is uh, playing Everton, uh, of course, they are 19 on the table with uh, 30 points. Of course, if Aston Villa wins, uh, they will move to 18 points um, over uh, Bournemouth, who says that they are not, uh, of course, they are, they are still happy that they, they believe they'll be able to avoid relegation. So if Aston Villa wins today's match against Everton, they might move to 18 points, but we don't know how that will be. Of course, now moving over to Leicester City. Leicester City, number four on the table with uh, 59 points. And uh, of course, uh, Sheffield United will play Sheffield United, who is number eight on the table with 54 points. And Sheffield United is one point ahead of Arsenal and will move to six uh, over Wolves if, uh, of course, if they win. And talking of uh, Southampton, who is tied with Everton uh, with 45 points and 12 on the table, will be playing Brighton, uh, with, who is uh, number 15 on the table with uh, 36 points. And of course, uh, the match that a lot of people are really looking forward to, that's uh, Crystal Palace will be playing in Manchester United. Crystal Palace is 14 on the table with uh, 42 points, while Manchester United is 5th on the table with uh, 59 points. And you know, talking about uh, Manchester United and uh, Leicester City, of course, um, both of them, they are really tied with 59 points. Leicester City, 4th on the table. Man United, 5th on the table. And now this match, there is something that is very, very important for them and their fans. So we're looking forward to this. Anyone that is able to move to 4th, you know, these, um, of course, uh, Man City is, um, of course, overturned of uh, their band, Champions League band being overturned. It has really affected a lot of the clubs who were hoping that uh, the, of course, the, the, this thing will be, short, will be extended to 5th, but now it's seems that of course you have to still be on that first to fourth uh, table to win it with your point. So Man United need to up their game and Leicester City also need to up their game. So we're really, it's, really today's match uh, result is really going to be interesting. And uh, of course um, Man United still just have uh, two matches left. Also same with Leicester City. 
Manchester United will be playing West Ham on the, of course next week Wednesday while Leicester City will be playing uh, Manchester they will be playing Manchester United for their uh, final Premier League match on Sunday so these two teams really really need to up their game and we need, we are really excited and waiting to see what the result will be and who will be qualifying for the Champions League uh, of course Champions League and uh, that's all we have for you on Vanda Life Sports today. You can always get more of our stories on our website and that's uh, www.vanda.ngr.com and also follow us on our social media platforms to get more of our sporting updates. It's bye from me, Damnola Obushaki.